All right, guys, so we're back here with our fun snail friends, and um, we want to talk about something that snails do, that land snails do, that's pretty darn cool. So here in the desert, I know it doesn't look like a desert, we're in an arroyo, we're in a kind of a riparian ecosystem, but around us there are tons of like cactus and um, four-winged saltbush and chamisa and all these desert adapted plants, but we have these garden snails here. And here's the cool thing, they, they live out here in the wild and they do perfectly fine. And it's because of an adaptation that they have that is really unique and cool. And what is that adaptation, Callan? They hibernate, like they go into the shell if they cannot get food. Okay, so really it's, it deals with dryness. It's not so much food, it's with how dry the environment is around them. And it's a state of hibernation called estivation and estivation essentially keeps them from drying out or like Callan said if there's not enough food because it's too hot they can estivate so they essentially they form this mucousy membrane right at the um, front of their shell you can see that guy's kind of hanging out we're a little blurry um, they form this mucousy oh did you see him frothing up right there all right so if you see that frothiness that's happening on this side of the the snail essentially it forms this layer of mucus called an epiphram and the epiphram seals in the snail and keeps it from drying out. And um, it's part of what they use to hibernate in the winter as well. So you just had a question. Can you tell us what that question was? What eats snails? What eats snails? What kind of predators do you think would eat a snail? A bird, well, probably. Okay, birds, what else? I think a toad because a toad likes to gulp up insects. Okay, um, are snails insects? Are snails insects? No. No. What makes an insect an insect? They have to have six legs. Hmm. Do snails have six legs? No. Nope. That's one of the criteria, right? All right. So um, let's see. Toads, um, turtles, birds, small mammals like mice and shrews and lizards, all kinds of things might eat snails, right? Snails are hermaphrodites, which is kind of cool and it's a fun thing to talk about with kids is that they are both male and female at the same time. And they can uh, reproduce asexually, um, but obviously asexual reproduction has all kinds of um, downsides to it. One being negative, <laughs> like deleterious alleles, right? Like um, diseases that pop up through asexual reproduction. So um, they do prefer to, uh, to mate and actually one of the students when they were painting the snails yesterday saw one that was mating which is pretty cool.